thank you uh, for coming out on such a wonderful day to talk about such a dismal uh, sellout of the environment and the taxpayers in New Jersey. For the people who live in South Jersey, this is the epicenter of a dirty deal. What people don't realize that in New Jersey, under both our constitution and under law, the resources of the state belong to all of us. Wetlands, streams, groundwater, fisheries. And when those things that are held in the public trust get contaminated or destroyed by pollution, the people of New Jersey are supposed to be compensated. It has been something that's been part of New Jersey's history since colonial times and was reinforced in the Spill Act in 1977 when the Spill Act not only said you have to clean up your mess, but you have to compensate the public for those spills. Now, what we, we're also here to say is that that money, that compensation, does not belong to the politicians. It belongs to the people. In 2004, the state of New Jersey sued Exxon for damages at the Linden and Bayway refineries where they destroyed more than 1,500 acres of wetlands, contaminated groundwater and streams. That was, under the documents filed, an $8.9 billion cause of action. Part of it included not just cleaning up the site, because you have to clean up the site, but restoration of wetlands uh, that were contaminated by oil and their co coastal wetlands, and so they help also prevent against flooding. The Christie administration, in March of this year, decided to settle that case for $225 million. So not only was it pennies on the dollar, but as a bonus, the state of New Jersey threw in 16 other sites, plus over 800 gas stations, and probably the biggest giveaway in state history to corporate polluters. And in Paulsboro alone, there are actually three sites that are included in the settlement. Now those sites are also highly contaminated. Uh, and they were given in as a bonus, thrown in for free by the state of New Jersey as part of this sellout. Now what we have found in going through the documents of those sites is that the terminal that is behind us is what's called a C2 site, which means it has a lot of contamination of groundwater, it has impacts to soil, meaning contaminated soil, and there's multiple contaminants, benzene, toluene, oil, hydrocarbons, all kinds of stuff. It's a witch's brew. And a lot of that is leaked out from under there and is actually under the ground we're standing on. And the point is that not only are polluters responsible to clean up their messes, they're also responsible for paying damages. And one of the problems that we see is that there's current budget language that allows anything over $50 million which would go to the DEP or for legal fees, in this case 45 million of it would go for legal fees, anything above that would, go, would end up going for uh, the general funds to plug holes in the budget. You know, Governor Christie said it was a good deal. Yeah, it's a good deal for Exxon, but it's a bad deal for the people of New Jersey and it's a sellout. And right now we're trying to block that. We're going to be going to court to try to along with one or two other, a few other groups to try to block that settlement from going forward. And we're also trying to get the legislature to not only block the settlement, but to pass a constitutional dedication so that monies can never be stolen again, that the people who've been impacted by pollution should get the monies that they should get, and the towns that have been impacted by the pollution should get that money so that they can do things to help the, the people in those communities have a better life, to have a better quality of life, and to make sure that polluters pay. Not that polluters, you know, get a you know, get off the hook. And one of the reasons we're here too is the company next door, because once you start settling these deals for pennies on the dollars and letting polluters get away, it sends a bad signal to everybody else. And the polluters next door are responsible for the big spill in Santa Barbara. So if they see that Exxon over here gets off the hook, then they're less likely to follow the environmental rules and regulations. They're less likely to do their due diligence because they figure what difference does it make? If you dump on New Jersey, you get a slap on the wrist. And if anybody thinks that Exxon deserves to get more money after what they've done to New Jersey, you know, I think, you know, they should, you know, get their head examined. First and foremost, um, when the judge got all the information from the state on the Exxon contamination, it included nothing on Paulsboro. 
None of the three sites in this town, or the one in, in Pedricksburg, uh, Pedricksville, it did not include not only those 16 sites, but we found out that it's now up to 1,700 gas stations statewide, 800 where there's potential groundwater contamination. When the legislature has asked for documents, and I have asked for documents, we have been told they don't exist. Yet I have documents in my own file showing Exxon gas stations showing severe groundwater contamination in parts of New Jersey. I, I've been able to go through records that I have to show the level of contamination at these sites because DEP supposedly told the legislature they don't exist. They said that they only did NRD uh, analysis on seven sites in New Jersey and not here. And then we found out that they actually did one here. And we found, and we found out that that 130,000 gallon spill that happened here in 85 um, was part of that, even though when we found the records on it, the state did not have it. But the reason I'm bringing that all up is because when you look behind the scenes at this deal, and you look at the political connections. Exxon gave $60,000 just last year to the RGA that Christie headed. Archer Grenier, the law firm that represents Exxon in the settlement, is where the attorney general came from, where the, the governor's uh, former DCA commissioner now works, and where the chief of staff for the Assembly Democrats now works. That this is not the only settlement. Last year, because of that budget language, the people on the Passaic River, where there was at least a $2 billion claim, was settled for $190 million, with $50 million going to DEP and half of that to pay lawyers, and the rest going into the general fund. So the people on the Passaic River have been shut out, and we're here because we don't want the people of Paulsboro to be shut out.